guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number two of the Tottenham Career Mode. Now, I have to thank you guys straight away for uh, the fantastic response you gave the first episode yesterday. You guys went absolutely ham with likes, comments, etc. It was really, really appreciated. I can't thank you enough. And also, one other thank you, of course, is to Odd Conflict for the thumbnail. I uh, had recorded yesterday's commentary before um, before he'd put his first Career Mode episode up. So if you like my Career Mode, I'll leave a link down below to uh, to his channel or to his episode one of his whole City Career Mode. He is a whole fan. So uh, thanks to him, and of course, feel free to check him out in the description as well. But let's get back to the action on screen, shall we? And uh, we're actually in the middle of a negotiation battle with Manchester United for Emmanuel Adebayor. Now, I don't rate him personally at all, and I honestly don't mind sending him to uh, to a, a league rival in Manchester United so no qualms putting that bid in there and then uh, we're looking for a left back aren't we we've put bids in for Fabio Cointrell he was initially valued at 5 million they said they want 17 and a half so uh, they're not getting that I'm telling you that straight up so I've offered them 7 and a half it's uh, basically 100 and no basically 50% uh, more than his actual value and uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. We keep getting a lot of bids for uh, Hugo Lloris and Jan Vertonghen in this transfer window. It has to be said, they are definitely two of my most sought-after players, but I'm rejecting every single bid for those two. There's no way Hugo Lloris is going anyway. It's one of the best goalkeepers on the game. And Jan Vertonghen is a player with great potential as well. And as you can see, Arsenal have signed Karim Benzema for £25.5 million. That is a massive transfer for both the player and, of course, for Arsenal. Linking up with Mesut Ozil, old Real Madrid teammate. So that's absolutely huge. And we're actually going in for another left-back here, David Alaba from Bayern Munich. Put in the bid for £9 million. I'm also looking for a striker. Although, of course, we do have two with Soldado and Jermaine Defoe. So it's basically just... Uh, Maybe they'll accept it. Maybe they won't bid for Javier Hernandez at Manchester United. But Javier, um, not Javier, uh, Heralio Gomez is going out to Stoke City. We've got Brad Friedel. We've got Hugo, Hugo Lloris. We don't need three goalkeepers. That is £925,000 that we could do with in our coffers to help bring in David Alaba. Now, they uh, rejected the initial offer. We're going to go back in with a counter offer of 10 and a half, And hopefully, they'll accept that bid. And we'll have to wait and see if he does accept that. Or if they do accept that bid. But we've had an offer in for Moussa Dembele from Fiorentina. Obviously looking to replace Adam Yeic. Who has actually moved on to Fiorentina. Another bid for Jan Vertonghen. This time from PSG at face value. Definitely not going to accept that. And then there's going to be another bid for Hugo Lloris. At face No, just above face value rather. But this time it's from Chelsea. Why they're bidding for him, I don't know. They've got Schwarzer and Petacek and of course uh, Courtois on their books as well but uh, we had the £10.5 million bid for David Alaba accepted so we're going to offer him £8,000 a week on four years with 10% clean seat bonus and he accepts it so he's going to slot straight into the first team at left back so our defence now lines up with Alaba left back We've got Vertonghen and Kabul at centre-backs. They're my two starting centre-backs. And we've got Kyle Walker at right-back. And uh, Alaba signed just in time to come into this first friendly against Athletic Bilbao. And I'm not going to show you huge highlights. I'm just going to show you the goals. And uh, after wearing them down, we uh, were actually able to take the lead late on in the second half. Christian Eriksen here showing good strength to hold off the defender. Plays the ball into Lamelu, who's going to cut inside nicely and then play the ball back to Christian who gets great power on that header and great direction on it as well. Down into the bottom corner to give us a 1-0 lead in the 85th minute. Now, I left the replay in here because that was a really, really nice header. You see him just flick it with his forehead down into the corner. Textbook header, and the goalkeeper can't get anywhere near it. And then just two minutes later, they were uh, messing about with the ball at the back. Soldado, great strength to, uh, to outmuscle the, the defender. Unfortunately, tried to get myself onto his right foot, but he took the, took the shot with his left. Goalkeeper saved it, but thankfully it fell to uh, Christian Eriksen. Picks up his and our second of the game. Two minutes, two goals back-to-back. And uh, we pick up a 2-0 win from our first friendly. And uh, I have to be honest, it's quite difficult, actually, the uh, playing on this on World Class. I wasn't comfortable at all during that game, so we'll have to wait and see how the season goes. But uh, we're throwing in another bid for Javier Hernandez. I'm actually going to throw in a bid of 12 million here. Unless you put 13 aside, so maybe I'll just put 12. Accidentally flick to uh, 12 million and 1,000, kind of like Arsenal did for... Uh, for Luis Suarez, but one player I am looking to bring in, or am going to bring in, is this left back from Valencia, Gaia. Now he was picked up by my scouts, and I scouted him a little bit more. And his potential looks really, really good. Like pace of 91 and defending of 82 was the overall stat. So hopefully he can do the job for us in a few years' time. We'll bring him in, we'll send him out on loan, and hopefully he can get some progression under his belt. But uh, second friendly is on screen as you see now. We've taken a flight out to uh, to Italy to play Livorno. Jermaine Defoe is going to hit the post there as the goalkeeper palms the effort onto it and. Uh, I was actually playing a complete different eleven in this one than I was to the first game. The first game was basically an all 
all out and out first team. This one was all of the squad rotation players, so I brought them in. Chadley's going to break down the left hand, the right hand side here, rather cut inside, and unfortunately that one whizzes past the far post, and that was how that one was going to end. So a win and a draw for our opening two pre-season friendlies, which is decent. We've not conceded a goal, which is again encouraging, and uh, the uh, both teams. Both the first team and the uh, the team made up of squad rotation players both perform pretty adequately. So I'm looking forward to getting into the next friendly in the next episode and, of course, that opening game of the Premier League season. So feel free to subscribe on screen and in the description. Link will be in the description and over a little annotation over the subscribe button on screen if you haven't subscribed already. And if you did miss the first episode from yesterday, there will be an annotation on screen over the little play emblem there so you can check that out as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. There was actually a pack only road to glory or Pac-Man as we've renamed it episode go up earlier today so feel free to check the channel for that if you haven't seen that video or your sub box uh, that came out around about one o'clock this afternoon so do feel free to check that out and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode of this and another episode of Pac-Man.